Hey there, I'm attorney Michael Silverman with the Florida Healthcare Law Firm. And today I'm here with my inaugural video in a new video series that is intended to provide DME POS providers with certain tools and resources to allow them to perform certain compliance related functions in house by themselves. We'll call it do it yourself compliance tools. And today's video is gonna tackle the topic of state licensure requirements. There's a fantastic tool that's been put out by Medicare's National Supplier Clearinghouse, you've likely heard me talk about it before, that enables providers to check on a state-by-state -state basis, look at the various different products they may want to provide to determine is a state license required for that product or not. I'm going to minimize my mug so that we can dive into the tool and I can show you exactly uh, the resources that it provides. Go to a search engine, I'm on Google right now, and type in NSC licensure tool or licensure database, NSC standing for National Supplier Clearinghouse. Now, this is the landing page that you should arrive on and pay attention to this bold disclaimer. Uh, you really need to uh, recognize that this guide is, is just that, it's, it's a guide. Um, it is not intended, intended to be the final word for state licensure requirements. Um, it, it's generally on point and accurate most of the time, but state license requirements can change. Um, every now and then this database lags behind the state licensure requirements. So you'll always want to actually check with the state licensing board that may be indicated by the licensure tool to get a confirmation that the information on here is correct. If you scroll to the bottom, to view your DME POS state licensure directory, you get a big, beautiful map of all the United States states and territories. Click on any individual state and you'll get a listing of all the different products that are reimbursable by Medicare Part B, as well as an indication of whether that state requires a license, any license for that specific product. I'll click on Florida because that's where I am right now. So on, on this licensure tool, you'll see in the left-hand column, it gives an indication of whether a license may be required for an in-state provider. Right next to that, you'll see an indication of whether a license may be required for a provider out of state that may be dispensing into that location. And of course, uh, something to pay close attention to is on the far right-hand side, you've got notes that may be applicable, maybe exceptions to the licensure requirement. Let's go down um, the list to see some types of durable medical equipment that my clients provide and, and determine whether Florida may require a license for those products. Diabetic testing supplies, for example. Here's um, mail order and non-mail order um, glucose monitors and supplies. You'll see that for an in-state supplier, there's no license that is indicated as being required in order to dispense those supplies in Florida. And for out-of-state suppliers, the same thing. No type of license that may be necessary. Let's scroll down to see some other types of equipment that DME providers may wish to supply in Florida and determine whether a license is required. CPAP devices, for example. Um, you'll see for an in-state supplier and an out-of-state supplier, it indicates that a home medical equipment provider license is necessary for an in-state as well as an out-of-state. So this HME license, it's Florida's equivalent of a, of a DME license that other states may have. Um, in the center, it indicates what agency may issue this license. And in Florida, it's the Florida Agency for Healthcare Administration, Florida ACA. And then on, on the right-hand side, you'll see, again, some notes that may indicate some exemptions. So if we scroll down, we, we see that on its face, a licensure requirement is in place in Florida for CPAP devices. But let's check notes C and E at the very bottom to see whether there may be some exception that may be particular to your practice that negates the need for that license. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom to our notes section, um, you'll see our notes in C and E. So this, this note is indicating um, that physicians may also need uh, an HME license in certain instances. And notes E is a whole list of exemptions from the licensure requirement. You'll see, for example, if the DME provider is also licensed as a pharmacy under Chapter 465 of the Florida Board of Pharmacy Act, then they don't need that HME license um, to dispense otherwise required products that may need that license. Um, a fantastic um, 
additional resource that this tool provides uh, is, is the licensing agencies. You'll want to actually call, speak with the Florida Agency for Healthcare Administration to confirm that, for example, an HME license is indeed necessary for CPAP equipment as indicated on this tool. Um, you can go and utilize this tool for all different types of products, see wheelchairs, it's got everything on here. And again, you'll want to ensure that you check uh, each and every individual state to ensure that the products you're dispensing into that state, you have any requisite license, um, as well as check this tool prior to engaging in dispensing new products to ensure that you have the requisite license or you obtain it before doing so. Please feel free to give me a call or an email with any questions or concerns that you may have concerning use of this licensure tool. I'm always happy to chat. Thank you guys for taking the time today.